Hi, I'm Keith Lauby, Chair of the Libertarian Party of Iowa. This is the Libertarian Party's response to the 2016 Condition of the State speech made by Governor Branstad today. If you are the typical Iowan, you may be thinking, here's another bunch of political mumble-jumble. But as an Iowan, you are paying a good amount of taxes, sales tax, property tax, and income tax. You cannot afford to sit back and let others dictate your financial life. Libertarians are hardworking Iowans who care deeply about their families, their communities, and their country. Libertarians are people who want to build a world where everyone has the freedom to pursue their own happiness as long as they do not hurt anyone or take anyone's rightful possessions. Governor Branstad provided some of the positives of Iowa, including the third best managed state, unemployment at 3.4 percent, which is down from 6 percent, and renewable energy such as wind and ethanol production. Wind energy today provides 30 percent of Iowa's energy. Wind energy has been good to rural Iowa as it provides money to landowners, local government and schools, and has created Iowa jobs. These are great things that we need to embrace and be proud of because they have happened due to hardworking Iowans and an upturn in the economy since the recession. The governor did not talk about a few issues that are important to Iowa libertarians. The governor spoke little about helping the poor and middle class. Typically, elected politicians have solutions, but nothing changes. Why? Republicans and Democrats each come up with programs which basically take money from you and me, hires people to run the program, and sets certain stipulations and hurdles to get the money back. Most of the time, only those who have resources and time to fill out forms and paperwork get the aid. There is redundancy and waste in many of these programs. Libertarians know the only way to increase human freedom and productivity is to reduce government control. Libertarians have a much easier and effective method to helping the working class. Do not take their money in the first place. That is, eliminate the income tax for the lower and middle classes. Let the hardworking individuals and families keep what they have earned. A tax is usually a method used to reduce the amount of something. For example, the high tax on cigarettes is to discourage people from smoking. We want people to work and earn an income. So why would we tax an Iowan's income? Libertarians are compassionate. People who cannot work and need to be on public assistance would continue to receive aid. We believe many of these assistance programs could be run more efficiently and effectively if done outside of government. Governor Branstad did not talk about eminent domain and the proposed Bakken pipeline. Eminent domain is the right for a government to take or use private property for public use. Eminent domain has been used in Iowa, typically for public utilities, and the property owner is paid for a fair price for the use of their property. The Bakken pipeline, which is proposed to cross the state from the northwest corner to the southeast corner, is attempting to use eminent domain for forcibly obtaining easements to gain the right to use private property for their underground pipeline. This pipeline will be owned and operated by a private company for private gain, not for the public. It is not a public utility where ions along the pipeline will benefit. In fact, in the long term, no ions will benefit from the Bakken pipeline. The pipeline crosses several Iowa watersheds, and when there is a spill along the pipeline, Iowans will be left with the cleanup bill, and the property owner will be left out to dry. This eminent domain request has caught Iowa off guard, as we do not have a good procedure to follow for such a request. Many believe that Rick Perry of Texas, who is now on the board of the Bakken Pipeline and a political friend of Branstad, has manipulated political ties for personal gain. Leaving the decision of whether eminent domain can be used for, by a private pipeline to a three-person Iowa utility board that was appointed by the governor is not right. Libertarians do not believe em eminent domain should be allowed by a private company. The Iowa General Assembly needs to take immediate action to protect Iowa landowners. The oil pipeline owners state that this pipeline will benefit everyone providing a new way to deliver crude oil from North Dakota to the refineries in the Gulf region. That was the XL pipeline, and the people in Nebraska prevented that pi pipeline from being built. So the pipeline route moved east in hopes Iowans are not as savvy as Nebraskans. How ludicrous that Iowans should give up their rights so a big corporation that has made political ties in Iowa can profit. We are getting the wool pulled over our eyes. The governor talked about making our criminal justice system fair. 
he indicated serious crimes that should have, should have a stiffer sentence than less severe crimes. Libertarians agree with this statement. We just want it to be practice. Why does someone with possession of medical marijuana get 20 years in prison while a drunk driver gets a slap on the wrist? Someone behind the wheel drunk can do a lot more harm than a can cancer patient or someone with epilepsy or a seizure. Most libertarians are not heavy drinkers or drug users. Libertarians believe that adults should be free to decide what they want to do as long as it does not cause harm to another. The governor has missed an opportunity to be a leader in the medical industry. Iowa is a farm-based state and we have the opportunity to produce a viable crop that can help people. What are we waiting for? The governor did not talk about higher education. The cost of college has been a runaway train for the past few decades. We are teaching our young people to take out loans, mostly government loans. In Proverbs 22.7 in the Bible, it states, The rich rule over the poor, and anyone who borrows is a slave to the lender. By directing our students to get government loans, we are teaching our young people to be slaves of the government. Libertarians want to instill freedom, financial and personal freedoms, in our young people. The governor did state that he will increase the use of tax money for funding K-12 through education. Will this tax money be spent wisely? Iowa was a leader among states in education for years, with a lower dollar spent per student than most states. Other states have quickly adapted to new technology and are teaching students what they need to know to succeed in tomorrow's workplace. Our school should be teaching personal finance, leadership, entrepreneurial skills, and the joys of being a business owner. Rather, we are indirectly teaching our young people to be followers. We are not mentoring our next generation of small business owners. Instead, we are over-regulating small businesses, and as a result, small businesses are disappearing from Iowa communities. Our state assembly passed a 20-year 1% sales tax to give schools more money for infrastructure. This sales tax started in 2009 and will end in 2029. Governor Branstad has proposed to extend the 1% sales tax another 20 years to 2049, so $4.7 billion of our money can be spent on water quality, an additional $20.7 billion can be spent on school infrastructure. Do we really believe we'll be teaching our students in bricks and mortar school buildings in 2049? Many of our current water quality problems are the result of nitrates. This water quality problem should be solved by the nitrate fertilizers used on farm fields and on lawns. An extension of a tax is a new tax, and libertarians do not like taxes, especially new taxes. I'm sure more details will be worked out on this borrow from Peter to pay Paul scheme. Libertarians agree with Branstad that water quality in Iowa is important. That is why we are opposed to using eminent domain for the construction of the Bakken pipeline. Do we want the 1% sales tax meant for schools to be used to clean up an oil spill from the private Bakken pipeline? To conclude, many Iowans get turned off by the continuous flow of political ads, junk mail, and phone calls. Remember that votes are counted one at a time, so when you vote, your vote counts. We ask that you register to vote, which you can do now online through the Iowa Secretary of State's website that links you to the Iowa Department of Transportation website. Online voting was part of Libertarian Jake Porter's campaign when he ran for Secretary of State in 2010 and 2014. If you want to keep your liberties and want to keep government out of your personal life and out of your purse or wallet, we ask that you select Libertarian when you register to vote. If you are currently registered as an independent or with another party, we ask that you change your voter registration to Libertarian. By doing so, you are making a statement that you want honest leaders who will represent you and not leaders who are tied to big money or backed by an outdated legacy political party that only knows how to argue and spend your money. Please share this video so our message can be heard. Thank you.